Hello guys, this is Collins Microsystems and today we're going to learn how to measure temperature. Yeah, digital, uh, we're going to learn how to measure temperature digitally. So Today, uh, there's a simulator that you can use. Um, it's called Wokui. It's an online Arduino simulator. I just discovered it a while ago, and uh, it's pretty great, man. It's really, really great. Okay, oh guys, oh, you can go check it out. So, turns out temperature is a very important um, variable. I mean, it's very important in everything that we do in our lives, and we measure temperature inside the house, thermostats, you know. Uh, we measure temperature in machines, in cars, in all everything because even in computers if temperatures get to a certain levels things start uh, stop working so it's we have to measure it one way or another or you know we have to make sure that it's done or it's you know we have to control it okay so today we're gonna have we're gonna learn how to like measure temperature using the arduino microcontroller yeah so Wokui is really 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 great that uh, it got uh, it has all these tools so as you can see on the screen here, we are at walkway.com, which you can learn, uh, you can check out, <coughs> you can go check it out, I'll leave the link in the description, so you can even program Raspberry Pi here, uh, it's really, really great, so today we're going to use an Arduino, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use an Arduino Mega, yeah, I'm just use an Arduino Mega, yeah, Arduino is pretty common, so, let me try to be different. Uh -huh. So yeah, you just double click it and then this is what you get next. So there is a sketch here, as you can see. Then uh, this is a JSON file, which represents this diagram. So yeah, don't worry about that. So this is Arduino. So first of all, we need that, uh, let me call it a sensor or let me call it a thermometer that you know gives us the reading of the temperature so it has to we have to have a sensor right so the sensor that we have uh, today let me check so if you want to add any component on the on the workspace here just click this plus button there are all these things the LED push button anyway I'll do an next video of uh, uh, how to use the site and all that so today let's focus on um, you go check out that uh, there is a video coming about how to you know use this site. It's really really great. Another option is Tinkercad, which we'll also look at as well. So today you're gonna have to check at uh, temperature sensor. So the most common one is a DHT11 or DHT22. Okay, so we're gonna have to use DHT22. Uh, in case you don't know what this is, this is a temperature sensor. We can you know. Let's uh, help you out, HD22. Okay, so this is DHD22. It's from Adafruit, I mean, and it's a basic and low cost temperature sensor, digital temperature. I mean, it's also, actually it also measures humidity. So it uses a capacitive humidity sensor and a thermistor to measure the surrounding air and spits out a digital temp signal on the data pane, okay? So yeah, I'll leave this link also in the description. You can go and learn all about it. There's also a data sheet, all these technical details. It's using three to five volts power, 2.5 milliampere max current. And yeah, it's pretty easy to set up too because it's got all these less pins. So, okay. So uh, I've, also, I've already added it in the workspace. So we're gonna learn how to connect it. So when it comes to connect it, connecting it, with Wokui, I mean, it's pretty easy, okay? You just put the mouse here and then it will label everything to you, uh, for you. So, for sure, this is the VCC. In case you don't know what VCC is, the VCC is the, is the, five, is the positive line, the 5 volts line or 3.3 volts line, okay? So, connecting it, we come here, we're going to use 5 volts, you know? And then, have you noticed that this... Uh, the white squares that come in okay when I, when I drag in the line you see all these three white squares and three all these things so it just tells you where to connect you see the white the squares have already turned white from gray okay so it just tells you pretty much where to connect it so we are remaining with three three lines 
Then the next part is uh, the SDA line, which is the signal line. So this one goes to any digital pin number because it's a digital uh, temperature sensor. We're going for the digital lines. So we can put it on, you know, pin three, okay, for that matter. And then the next one is NC, which means not connected. So you're just gonna have to ignore it. Then the third one is the G and D. Uh, the G and D is the ground, which is the negative line. So it's got, when you click that negative, it's just gonna tell you that's the G and D. Okay, so we're pretty much connected. Yeah, it's already connected. So the only thing that's remaining is coding it. So when it comes to programming it, uh, we're gonna have to add in. A library because DHT22 is a digital sensor and there's a library out there it's called DHT that you know has all these functions that you need okay yeah so as you can see here first thing that we, we're gonna have to include that library so it's called uh, we're gonna have to include our DHT library which dot h yeah that's the first line so this is the library Okay. I will work with the libraries already in built with uh with the Arduino ID you're gonna have to include so check out that video where you know use it on the Arduino uh, DHT. So the next thing we're gonna have to define the pin the pin that we that we connected the signal pin okay so the signal pin is this one and it's connected on pin three you can use any of these pins from from Two, I normally use from 2, 3, up to 13 because 0 and 1 is for zero, but zero connect zero connection. Uh, there's more to that as well. So, so let's define the DHT pin. I'll set it up on pin 3. Great. Okay. Then the next thing we're gonna do is set up, we're gonna check on the type, the DHT type, okay? Because there's DHT11 and DHT22, and the one that you're using right now is DHT22, so, okay? So we're gonna have to define as well, um, DHT type. We're gonna define it as DHT22. Great. Okay, so we you know this, we've included the library, so I'm gonna include a list here. Uh, the steps that we need to follow so you, you don't get confused so the first thing that we have added is include a library okay second stage define a pin number the sensor is connected to that one is the temperature the DHT sensor type okay this case is DHT 22 great and then <coughs> the, the, in the initialization stage you can, then the next thing we're gonna do is create an object a DHT type object that we're gonna use to access all the functions inside the DHT dot H library okay so the so here is how it, how to do that. Don't worry about it. So, so now we're gonna define an object of type DHT. So this is the DHT object. Okay. And then here this object. These are the. It, there is a pin as well, and then DHT type. Okay. So this is object uh, of type this one. We instant we instantiate it with all this pin number and type. Okay, great. So the next thing is setup. Uh -huh. So here we're gonna update in our to do list. What are we, the next thing that we've added is uh, DHT object. Great. So after this, on the setup part, uh, because we want we don't have any other. Uh, peripheral devices to display this temperature we're gonna use the serial monitor so serial monitor um, serial to, in, to initialize it we 
gonna have to include zero dot begin nineteen six hundred and ninety six hundred ninety six hundred is the baud rate so the baud rate is bits per second okay great so that's how I'm thinking I'm gonna do a video of describing each and every line at the COVID so that you understand whatever is going on okay great so we, we have to initialize the serial monitor with the speed that you want the data to flow to the monitor okay and then first then we're gonna have to print a message let's say serial print message rather of initialization so dht initialized okay great so don't don't you don't remember to to put in a semicolon at the end of it then the most crucial part is we're gonna have to begin the dht communication as well okay dht dot begin remember this object here this is what we're gonna use here to access the dht dot begin so that you can start communicating okay okay so what we're gonna have to collect from the sensor is humidity and temperature so when you get the humidity or temperature we're gonna need to store it somewhere okay we're gonna need to store it somewhere. so we have to declare a variable so for, for starters it's gonna be the humidity part we're gonna humidity we're gonna have to declare a variable that's gonna store it and then call this function dht object do you remember the object is is what is used to us the functions inside the inside the library so it's gonna be read humidity okay so dht object of read humidity great so that means whatever is gonna be read from read humidity is gonna be stored inside the the humidity variable then the next part is uh, float temperature and the reason why we using float is because the, the data comes in as a decimal so we're gonna store it in a float type <coughs> uh, float type variable great okay so temperature temperature great yeah so after this I mean we can just print it on a screen you know yeah we can just print it on a screen so after this we're gonna have to serial go to print line type here temperature that and what's what's the temperature zero dot print line it's temperature like that right okay so you know uh print line is printing on the next line so we want this to uh, we want this to uh, to be connected to this other one so it doesn't go to the next line but you know it's all your choice you know? it's all cosmetics anyway so zero to print line next thing uh print is humidity relative humidity okay zero to print the variable that we start humidity in is this okay simple simple as that okay yeah it's just that simple so you don't have to worry about it there are all kinds of things all kinds of functions that you can get from the um uh, dht22 also heat index um temperature in fahrenheit or in degrees celsius at this point it's only in degrees huh? celsius so we can we can also include the sign which is um zero print okay. and a unit we can include the unit um, which is degrees celsius and then this other one will be in percentage form great okay which one okay that one okay so for, you save it first 
thing and then we run so when running it it's like we're compiling it and we check if you know we got some any errors or something yeah we do have some errors and it's telling us that yeah it's telling us that the variable here was not declared which i typed it wrong so let's read temperature i added an extra t so let's check out if we got any errors okay great oh yeah it's running but we cannot even see it's going so fast so we have to you know let's delay it a little so that we can chill right so let's delay that you know every second it, it speeds up numbers because electronics things can go really fast and we as humans we will not be able to see so as you can see from the serial monitor here uh, we are getting something so 24 degrees 40 degrees so i don't know if this is a real temperature because it's a simulated environment anyway anyway but this is how to do it this is how you connect it this is how to uh, type it and display it on a serial monitor okay great i think this is the end of the video so I'm grateful for your time please like subscribe i know this is a fairly new channel you know please subscribe like because i got all this content that's coming and you can hit the notification bell button as well so that you can be notified when there's a new video that's popped up great so wish you all the best thank you really thank you for your time